When you meet Hesterion for the first time near the crashed site, his initial hostility might surprise you. Actually, he attacks you to get some answer from you. During this time, he will engage in a captivating conversation not only with you, but also with one of your companions. While most players experience this encounter with Shadowheart as their first companion, did you know that each companion brings their own unique perspective to the dialogue? Gale delivers a subtle threat, Lysel flirts while maintaining a menacing tone, Shadowheart shows a selfish nature, and Will attempts to de-scale the situation. Even Karlak's interaction adds a touch of humor. Let me show you. And you, keep your distance. No need for this to get messy. No messes? How dull. I'd much rather be dripping with this pretty boy's blood. <laughs> you flirt, but I have other business. Keep your cool. This one's all bite, no bark. Or is it the other way around? Answer a few little questions, and we won't have to find out. Couldn't agree more, but if you use that knife, I will incinerate you. And your friend with me? Hardly. I will rip your face off, fancy boy. And I'll eat your heart, fire girl. I need her alive. Stow that blade, or I'll show you just how messy things can get. <laughs> promises, promises. But I have other business, I'm afraid. If you discover the Zentarium hideout, then later you'll get additional dialogue option while talking to the soldiers in Watkins Rest. Actually, I was a bit surprised to know that the Flaming Fist soldiers are fearful to the Zents. Those who speak of the Zent end up unable to speak. My advice, shut up. Fists shy away from a fight, then it's probably a fight best avoided. It's all so confused. And? What do you expect me to do about it? I don't have the fists to take on a center in base. We're stretched thin as it is. Just stay out of their way and hope they stay out of yours. Maybe I shouldn't blame them considering their horrific situation in Watkins Rest. Mintharos sent a draw scout in Emerald Grove to observe the druids. The scout was told not to engage in any fights. He didn't listen to this. He fought against the druids and died. You will find his body in Nadi's chamber. If you use this pick with dead on him, you will know this basic information. Ned Siranis of the Absolute Druid. Minthara back at camp. The corpse remains silent. It doesn't understand the question. Moonrise Towers Initiation. Additionally, a letter detailing his plan of action will be found on his corpse. Before moving any further, I have a request. Please, hit the subscribe button to get more contents like this. It costs you only a few seconds but fills my heart with joy and all my hard works get paid off. So please, do this. Cazador Zar Most of the players first encounter Asterion's master in Act 3. But if you play as Asterion Origin, you'll see him in early Act 1. Even you'll get an option to attack him. This cutscene will trigger at your first long rest after reaching Mountain Pass. Let me show you. The forest. Dark. Cold. Foreboding. Hello? Anyone there? First. Thou shalt not drink the blood of thinking creatures. Second, thou shalt obey me in all things. Where are you? Show yourself! Third, thou shalt not leave my side unless directed. Your heart pounds, but you're ready. He's going to regret coming for you. Fourth, Thou shalt know that thou art mine. When I got the fight option, I was so much excited. But this excitement didn't last long. 
You swing, but connect with nothing. Seems like there is an option to fight Kazator, but it actually doesn't work. However, after the dream, you'll get two options to drink blood from. Either you can choose any of your companions or a random animal. I choose the second option. I saw Asterion going to the forest and the cutscene ended. If you have ever played as a barbarian, you should know about the bonus action Rage. It is quite fascinating to see the way your character screams during Rage. I believe most of us are familiar with the Rage scene of Karlok. Now let me tell you an interesting fact about Rage. If you respect your other companions as barbarian and use Rage, you'll see unique Rage scenes for each companion. I respect all my companions and tried Rage. Let me show you. If you play as Asterion Origin, then when you first express your vampire form using the bite option, one of your companions will react to it. But there is more. Actually, all of your companions will have unique reaction to it. To trigger everyone's reaction, I reloaded the game for each companion and beat them. Will was very surprised, Shadowheart, Gale, and Karlak said that they were suspicious from before, and Lysel took some time to fully understand the matter. So you're a vampire, Astarian. I suppose I shouldn't really act surprised. The signs aren't exactly subtle, if you care to look. Perhaps I should have said something before you actually bit someone. Ha! Mm, I knew it. I knew you'd try something like that eventually. I wish you'd done it with a bit less enthusiasm. Still, I can hardly blame a vampire for being true to its nature. You are a vampire, are you not? You bit me. No one bites me without my say-so. So you're a vampire then. I had my suspicions. You bit me! Two punctures, deeper than the others. Minimal seepage. Shkaketh! A vampire. An undead slinks among us! What in the hells? Oh shit! You're a god's damned vampire! God's damn it, Astarian! A lesser man would sever that well-quaffed head from your neck without a moment's hesitation. Lucky for you, I'm not such a man. When we first meet Nettie in Emerald Grove to find a cure, she gives us poison and tells us to drink it up on experiencing any transformation symptoms. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. But I was curious to know what would happen if I stole the poison before she gave it to me. I stole the poison and started the conversation. This time the dialogue was changed and she became more straightforward. Let me show you. Swear to me that if you feel any symptoms, you'll end things yourself. In your playthrough, if you kill the hag, then you miss her permanent plus one buff. And if you do not kill her, you generally miss the valuable loots from her corpse. Even pickpocketing doesn't work. In a nutshell, if you get the loots, you miss the buff, and if you get the buff, you miss the loots. A very good news here. I have found a way where you can get all her loots and also the plus one bonus. I have shown the full process with some other rare secrets in this video. You can watch it by clicking here. Visit my channel to get more Baldur's Gate 3 videos like this. Subscribe if you like. Till then, have a nice day, goodbye.